<laughs> we didn't chase. <laughs> uh, it was definitely slow initially. Um, definitely sped up. Um, you know, I felt like there was a lot more pace on the ball when we bowled. Um, you know, they used that quite well. Um, so yeah, I'd say the wicket got slightly better, but um, these guys play very well in their home conditions and knowing the knowing the surface, knowing the conditions is is half the battle. I wouldn't have said so. No, you know we respect everybody. We know how good Bangladesh are in in, in their own country. The, the numbers don't lie on that front. So no, full respect to Bangladesh. Uh, it's, it's a different challenge. Um, you know they're both very unique in their own ways. Shakib undercuts the ball a lot more and gets it to go low, especially on used surfaces like that. And and um, the guy that came in today, a bit taller, doesn't get as much on the ball. So and even though they're two different, you know they're the same. Well, their skills the same. They're two very different bowlers in that in that sense. I think it's a lot of it is playing the same way. Obviously, you know we are stacked with all rounders um, in that middle order, middle to lower order. So um, you know you got full faith in those guys. But ideally, you want one of the top four to be winning the game every game. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I've covered four hits out here so far, and you know I've got two starts in but in that. Those are the most frustrating ones for me because you want to be the guy that goes on to win the game. Um, you know that's the mark of a world-class player, someone who takes the game on by themselves and, and wins it. Um, so you know it's frustrating, um, but I know it's not far away. Yeah, I, I enjoy batting with Joss. We batted together now for a couple of years in the hundred. Um, so you know I know his game very well. He knows mine. Um, yeah, to be honest, probably one of my favourite opening partners. Um, you know he's got so many different options. You know, skill level so high. So for me, you know, opening the baton with him, I really enjoy it. Absolutely. I mean, in white ball cricket, you know, around the world at the moment, he is the benchmark uh, with the bat. You know, he is he is the best around. So I think everybody wants to emulate him. But you know, maybe being from Blanks, Manchester as well, spending that little bit more time around him. Um, yeah, I'd, being the same skill set, I definitely do want to emulate him. Yeah. We know we know that we could have ended the innings better. Um, T20 cricket, when you you know you lose wickets in successive balls, it always hurts. Um, having two new batters at the crease, um, you know, but that's part of the game. Um, you know, on another day, you know, we finish, we get 180, and, and today we couldn't get there. <laughs> we didn't chase. <laughs> the surface, um, you know. As I said, it got a little bit better, um, you know, as the game went on, as the lights kicked in. Um, you know, I, I said previously that, you know, the Bangladeshi team's knowledge of the conditions, you know, really, you know, gave them a step in the right direction. Was it? The oh, was it? Um, I think the turning point, you know, I think Shanto played very well in the chase. I think the openers, you know, set the, set the chase up very well for them. And I think in the middle, they played really well. Um, I think the lads that were in for them, they found a way of getting a boundary early in the over quite a lot of the time and, and I think they ran pretty well as well so you know I think they'll be sitting in that dressing room right now saying you know that's, that's as close to a perfect chase as, as they'd want in these conditions I suppose. Cool, thank you all. Jesus, some mosquitoes up here.